Johnny Weissmuller, a Hollywood legend, left a lasting impression on the industry with qualities that stand the test of time. His influence goes beyond the screen, prompting many to reminisce about inspirational stories. Whether it's his athletic skills, captivating on-screen presence, or embodiment of classic characters, he remains a symbol of the entertainment world. What makes him timeless? Perhaps it's his athletic abilities, his portrayal of beloved characters, or the way he effortlessly captured the essence of his era. Many are drawn to his legacy, considering him a symbol that transcends time. Share your memories or experiences with this Hollywood actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we explore interesting facts about Weissmuller, from funny anecdotes to surprising moments. Your stories matter, and we'd love to hear them. Stay tuned for more insights into the life of Johnny Weissmuller, a Hollywood legend whose influence continues to resonate. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. During Hollywood's golden era, one standout figure was Johnny Weissmuller. A true icon, he left a lasting impression not just for his acting skills, but for embodying the spirit of his time. His on-screen charisma and athletic talent made him magnetic to audiences. Known for playing classic characters, he didn't just play roles, he became them, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment. As an Olympic swimmer, Weissmuller added another layer to his persona. Transitioning seamlessly from the pool to the set, he brought a unique athleticism to his roles, setting him apart and making him beloved by many. Reflecting on Johnny Weissmuller's life, it's clear he wasn't just an actor, but a symbol of an era where entertainment was an experience, not just a spectacle. His influence goes beyond his time, resonating with audiences even today. Share your thoughts on this Hollywood legend below. What memories or experiences do you associate with him? Stay tuned for more insights into the life of a man whose influence continues to endure, shaping the fabric of Hollywood history. Amidst Hollywood's golden era, Johnny Weissmuller faced struggles that went beyond the silver screen. The charismatic actor, known for his athleticism and memorable characters, dealt with substance abuse and addiction in his personal life. The qualities that made him a favorite with audiences, his on-screen charm, and unique athletic abilities became intertwined with the challenges he faced off-camera. Weissmuller smoothly transitioned from Olympic swimmer to Hollywood star, but the pressures of fame took a toll on him. The allure of the entertainment world brought both admiration and pitfalls. Substance abuse became a shadow in his life, a private battle fought in the corners of stardom. The very traits that endeared him to many contributed to a struggle that often accompanies fame. Public adoration painted a glamorous picture, but behind the scenes, Weissmuller grappled with personal demons. Addiction, a formidable opponent, tested the mettle of the man who effortlessly portrayed Tarzan and other classic characters. It became a challenge etched into the narrative of his life, adding depth to the Hollywood legend. Yet, despite these challenges, his influence perseveres. His struggles, though often hidden, provide a nuanced understanding of the man behind the iconic roles. The journey of overcoming addiction is a reminder of the resilience inherent in the human spirit, even for those who seem larger than life on the big screen. In exploring the complexities of Weissmuller's life, it's essential to acknowledge the varied aspects of his existence, a man who entertained millions but faced personal battles in the shadows. His legacy, shaped by triumphs and struggles alike, serves as a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood lies the very human experience of navigating life's challenges. Amidst Johnny Weissmuller's successful Hollywood career, his portrayal of Tarzan in Tarzan and his mate stands out for the daring stunts he performed. Notably, he fearlessly took on the challenge of riding a rhino, an elephant, and a hippo during these scenes, showcasing his physical abilities on the screen. As the first speaking Tarzan, he marked a shift in the famous role, and his passing in January 1984 closely follow with the death of James Pierce, the last surviving silent Tarzan, the month prior. Tragedy struck Johnny Weissmuller's personal life in 1962 when his daughter Heidi lost her life in a car crash. Driving south along the Pacific Coast Highway, she fell asleep at the wheel near Laguna Beach. The crash claimed both Heidi and her unborn child, leaving a lasting mark on Weissmuller. His son revealed that the loss haunted him, and he never fully recovered from the tragedy. Looking back, Johnny Weissmuller's life reveals layers of triumphs and struggles. His on-screen charm and athletic feats brought him fame, but behind the scenes, personal challenges unfolded. The shadows of substance abuse and the poignant loss of a loved one shaped a narrative beyond the glamour of Hollywood. 
Despite these complexities, his influence endures, offering a nuanced perspective on the man behind the legendary roles. In Tarzan's Desert Mystery, Johnny Weissmuller's portrayal of the character stands out for its smooth action sequences. Interestingly, Ben Johnson, who later won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, served as Weissmuller's stunt double for the horse riding scenes, showcasing the collaborative efforts behind the on-screen magic. Moving on to Tarzan and the Amazons, this installment takes a different approach as it lacks Tarzan's usual yodeling yell. Notably, neither Tarzan nor other characters like Jane or Boy contribute to this sound. Instead, in a moment of distress, Jane opts for a simple call of Tarzan. When trapped beneath a fallen tree, adding a unique touch to Weissmuller's Tarzan legacy. In Tarzan and the Leopard Woman, it's interesting to note that both Weissmuller and Johnny Sheffield, who played Boy, shared a common fate, passing away at the age of 79. This parallel timeline adds a unique dimension to their respective journeys within the Tarzan universe, creating a subtle connection between the actor and his on-screen companion. The various roles played by Weissmuller in the Tarzan series highlight his adaptability and versatility as an actor. From action-packed scenes to moments of quiet communication, he brought depth to the character, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. Amidst his Hollywood journey, he encountered a memorable incident during a 1971 appearance on the German television show Das Aktuell Sport Studio. A monkey added an unexpected twist to the show, mischievously snatching and throwing his wife Maria's wig onto the floor. Notably, he found himself featured on the sleeve of the Beatles' famous album SGT Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, marking a unique intersection between Hollywood and music. Born in Freydorf, a district of Timisoara, Romania since 1950, his roots trace back to Banat Swabians and citizens of Austria-Hungary. The family migrated to the United States on January 26, 1905, when he was merely seven months old. This early move laid the foundation for a life that seamlessly transitioned from Olympic swimmer to Hollywood star. His ability to embody characters on screen went beyond the silver screen. His influence reached an apex as he portrayed Tarzan in daring stunts, riding a rhino, an elephant, and a hippo in Tarzan and his mate. This role, as the first speaking Tarzan, signified a shift in the character. Tragedy struck in 1962 when he faced the heartbreaking loss of his daughter, Heidi, in a car crash along the Pacific Coast Highway. This incident left an enduring impact on him, a pain he never fully recovered from, as revealed by his son. In the Tarzan series, his adaptability and versatility shone through. Notably, Ben Johnson, who later won an Academy Award, served as his stunt double in Tarzan's Desert Mystery, revealing the collaborative efforts behind the on-screen magic. Additionally, a unique touch surfaced in Tarzan and the Amazons as the usual yodeling yell was absent, replaced by Jane's simple call of Tarzan in a moment of distress beneath a fallen tree. It's noteworthy to observe the parallel timelines of his life and Johnny Sheffield, who played Boy, both passing away at the age of 79 after portraying roles in Tarzan and the Leopard Woman. This subtle connection adds depth to their respective journeys within the Tarzan universe. In exploring his life, one encounters not just a Hollywood legend, but a man whose experiences, both joyful and painful, shaped a narrative beyond the glamour of the entertainment world. His influence, despite challenges, endures, providing a nuanced perspective on a man whose journey went beyond the confines of the big screen.